Hi, I'm Adam Robinson and I'm from Saracis, a transportation management technology and services solutions company. We're excited to announce our first episode of our new weekly series published each Friday on our YouTube channel and our blog called Talking Freight. In this series, we're going to cover quick, practical tips to help you better manage transportation and when you're shipping freight to make sure you have all of the sound fundamental practices at your fingertips so you don't make any mistakes. As you know, mistakes can add up and mistakes can be costly, whether it's through higher shipping costs or by poor customer service and losing that special customer. So make sure you tune in each week by subscribing to our YouTube channel or our blog and you'll be sure to never miss an episode. So let's get right into it. Our first episode is around a subject that we get asked a lot about. In fact, it's our most popular blog post, and it's about LTL freight class. A lot of shippers have to deal with reclassification because, frankly, they don't really understand what is LTL freight class or what are the factors that go into determining freight class that you put on your bill of lading. So today, we'll answer both those questions. We'll define freight class, and then we'll talk about the factors that go into it going over a specific example to help you understand how to determine freight class. So what is freight class? Well, freight class is something that is determined by the NMFTA, the National Motor Freight Transportation Association. They publish these freight classes in the National Motor Freight Classification Book. You might have seen it. It's very large and quite voluminous. Well, NMFC for short. There are 18 classes in the NMFC. They range from 50, which is the least expensive class, to 500, or the most expensive. Now, there are four factors that determine freight class. The first one is weight, length, and height, or the density and the value. The next is stowability. Stowability is a quantifiable classification. It represents the difficulty in loading and carrying these items. The next factor is handling. This is a classification that represents the ease or difficulty of loading and carrying the freight which are assigned to the items. The fourth factor is liability. Liability is the probability of freight theft or damage or damage to adjacent freight. So when it comes to these four factors let's take a look at an example. We're going to take a look at example involving hosing. Now, if you look in the NMFC book or online at nmfta.org, the NMFC number for hosing is 51140. So now we're going to look at the first factor. We know that this uh, freight or, or package of hosing is uh, the length of 48 inches, 40 inches. Uh, wide and 45 and a half inches high. So when you multiply all that together, that's 87,360 cubic inches. We also know that it's 243.2 pounds, and that's including pallet. You have to make sure you include the pallet in your overall weight. So now we want to determine the PCF or pounds per cubic feet. So what we do is we take this length times width times height in cubic inches, 87,360, and you'll divide your cubic inches by 1,728 to get cubic feet. So the cubic feet is 50.6 cubic feet. Now we need to divide by the weight to find the pounds per cubic feet. So 50.6 cubic feet divided by 243.2 pounds, and we get 4.6. Eight. Now, of those 18 classes, they determine them based on PCF. So you'll have all of your classes listed here from 50 to 500, and on the right column, there's a range of weights. And the higher you go, the more expensive it costs. So of these 18 classes, the number assigned to an item is important for freight carriers in determining your tariffs, which in turn determine the price charged to you. So when you look at that range, it falls under class 200. And so now you know the class 
and now you know the NMFC to assign to this commodity or package of pallet you're shipping to help you determine your rate. Now, you may have to call carriers on your own and give them that information and call around, or if you are a customer of Saracis, you can obviously use our transportation management system and it will help get you the lowest price if that's what you want to choose. So that's our first subject with Talking Freight. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Join us next week in our second episode. Don't miss it. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button or subscribing to our blog at saracis.com forward slash blog. Have a good day.